<laughs> Welcome back. So this is part two of the patch update that just came out. Okay. Let's go through these lists. Let's check out these. There was a new champion and third and fourth awakening added. So I'm going to check out the champion. This new hero. The story hero? I think it's just a normal hero. Hmm. Let's check it out. Doo -doo. Okay, definitely. A story. Uh, not a story hero. So, fire, 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 fire. Oh, we're here. Let's see. Oh, I like our animation. It's pretty cute. Let's see. Six star version. So the stats could be better. It's all right, but she has three percent chance to freeze. That's interesting. Okay, strikes. Oh, okay, she's a healer. Hmm. That's actually interesting to see. She doesn't have a revive, but. She has um healing and fire attack. Hmm. That's actually pretty interesting. I'm not sure if it's worth it in the current meta. Mainly because bosses the bosses like boss rate seven, they hit hard enough to just kill you. Like you can't it's gonna take too long for her to heal. Is what I'm saying. Because it takes 40 MP. So I'm not really sure. And her dash skill is just healing dash skill. Like, I wish it was um an attacking type dash skill. And if it was, it would be just amazing. Fire attack, attacking dash skill, and heal with... It's like um, having a fire version of Rika. I'm probably gonna actually pass on this. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna pass on this. Anyways, so we're gonna look at the two new Champion Roads obtainable store hero. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be like straight up. I'm super biased on this this wolf character. Ever since I saw it, saw him in like introduced in story mode, I wanted to have him. Even though I wished his dash skill was not vertical, because I feel like vertical doesn't do much in this meta right now. It's like the least like I would rather have like uh any other dash skill besides healing or vertical honestly and it's passive is crit not too bad very versatile amazing stats pretty good stats and then you add in the awakening and 25% crit is base crit is really good actually it's up there with um lee kiki and uh DD. So I think that's pretty interesting. Then the next one is fire, fire, fire guy. Dane, the th I actually really like his um his art. Again, for some reason they have uh they gave him vertical, but they gave mana like horizontal. So I really wish like. They could have done better with the dash skill. I felt like they were really lazy and just like, okay, two story hero champions, hero road, whatever, blah, 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 vertical, done. Like, I, I feel like it was rushed. I feel like they could have improved before releasing it. Like, this patch, they should have, like, improved upon... The comments, like, some people didn't like the vertical skill. I didn't like the vertical skill. So, that's pretty much it. And, 
what's interesting is the passive teams HP 25%. So I think Game Evil is trying to do something with HP increasing. Like maybe it might be the new meta or something like you want to have someone inc to increase HP as time goes on. Once you limit break them to like 20k health, then you add 25 plus to it, 25% to it, you know. The Thunderstrike level 7, it's alright. I mean, what can I do? His base, his base fire is actually, it's okay. But his freeze is pretty high, so I think he's meant to be a tank. Because he has very high taunts. High HP, high defense, low crit, so... I think he would be really good, or not really good, but like really tanky if you uh, limit break him every, I guess, three months or so. That's a while, to be honest, just to limit break somebody. So, may well, it might just take more, it might take like less than three months to limit break one of these store heroes solely because they have uh, that exchange system out. So that's pretty interesting. And then mana, like the first one that came out, amazing. Horiz like horizontal, okay. Horizontal is very useful in this game. Vertical is okay. I feel like it's lackluster. And Man of the Captain mm -hmm. actually has really high uh, water attack, which is pretty good. So I think out of the three, mana would rank number one. Solely because those stats alone, 1500 HP is a lot. 600, almost 700 defense is a lot. Has 4% freeze. Mm -hmm. About 3,200 water attack. Not including all those runes, awakening, everything. And then team's water attack, 72%. So, I think that water... Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that water, uh, water-based teams right now are going to be amazing if you have the right setup, I guess. And it's very easy to limit break um, Yeti. Tanky can tank for you, has very good uh, attacks, attack dash skill, horizontal. So he's pretty good. Mana is good. And then Aria, amazing crit, about 26%. And has a different attack dash skill, which is pretty good too. So they just make up for a really strong team. And then you put a chain, chain booster with it. I think could be freaking amazing. So water teams right now, I'm really happy for them. They're they're very like they're improving water teams a lot. The only thing that the only thing that like I have a problem with is just the type of dash skills that they're coming out with. Other than that, it's pretty okay. Alright, and then let's look over towards... <sighs> Awakening. So, they have the third and fourth tree Awakening. So, I'm gonna look at, um... Well, what my team has. So, I only have about three of my, uh, my character's second star. So, Store Hero... I mean, if you're trying to awaken a story hero, it's gonna be a while. Like, it's gonna be a long time. You're gonna have to spend all your resources on it. And it took me a long, long time just to get to two stars. Solely because, like, um... What was it? I feel like they should really... The scales... Without going too far. I haven't gone that far in, this, like, this awakening story mode yet. Only got about up to, like, 18 maybe? It gets pretty. It gets a lot harder. I haven't tried it now, when they they said they decreased it. So. But yeah, some items there's only one of, so it's really just hard to get it. Cause you require like a lot of um. A lot of material. It's it's like up there in like ten, twelve, nine. It's just really up there. So let's check it out. I have the second. So wow. Okay. So look, look at it from here. So 280, right? Second awakening. Third awakening. 
they boosted it up by 700 HP for my story hero that I have right now that I plan on like um, upgrading. So it's exponentially increased because that's a lot. Seven, 700 is a lot. And that's not just like, if, if I like max out this, I'll get one, two, three times seven, 21. So 2,100. So I'm at 1,900. But it makes sense because um, story heroes, they require like a lot more. So it, it increases. So it goes from uh, 10s, 12s, it's increasing to 15, 20. Like, I don't think 20 is that much of a reach because Let's see right here. Yeah, look, 42 Black Magician staff. That's just crazy. How much do I need? Okay, I still need 15 skills learned to like upgrade to the next awakening. So that's like the third awakening. And this would be the fourth awakening. So from here on, it increases. Let's see, attack. So from 94 to 102. And we have um, actually new awakening materials powder okay i don't have any of that bells powders that's interesting so they're coming out with more awakened material i really wish they would have like a better rates rate up maybe like a, more events every week just for gathering and like event diamonds would be nice so they have new uh gathering materials and then at the end of the fourth one it's a dash skill level plus one. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. When I get there, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get there because it's going to take a lot. Which is pretty interesting, a plus one dash skill. I'm interest interested to see like how good it's that that's going to be. Okay, so that's like for a story hero. They have very high increased rates like... 700 HP, 100 damage, all that stuff. Let's see like normal, like normal heroes. Let's see what they have. So go past there. So 1200. So this is, okay, hold up. So this is part of the, I guess, third awakening right here. It's um 250, 120. So it's increased a little bit more. S pretty decent amount of um it's only at the fours and fives it hasn't reached like the tens yet but let's see okay yeah so getting your character to four stars isn't gonna be too much hard work you just need to farm the new materials and then at the end so i'm guess i'm seeing a pattern here where um at the end for the fourth awakening they give you a dash level plus one skill. So I'm pretty interested in that. So I might just um, try to max out the heroes that I have right now. Hmm. Okay. That's very interesting. So it's a pretty decent increase and not too much um not too much increase in the material you need to gather to upgrade. Which is amazing. Great. Just great. So yeah, it's just a little bit more increase. A little bit more stats that builds up. So it's not too bad. And then at the end, they get the dash skill level. So I'm interested in see how much how much it's going to factor in in like PvP or PvE, you know? And that's pretty much the end of part 2. No more parts for this patch. So if you liked this, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. Later guys, bye.